coming in for check day two over here at the Predator Sets. Um, hopefully we've got something. I don't know. I don't see anything bouncing yet looking at the back end of the field, but we'll know more when I get down there. Then I gotta go run the beaver sets. Hopefully we've got a catch. We'll find out in a minute. Right here, nothing hit set one. Still nothing touched it. The water grass is still over the bait. And there's the little, the old, uh, looks like cattle crossing right here. So that's the reason why this sets here. But I'll move on down. See if we've done any good. Nothing on set two. But I have hope for this. This is where I got the, the pictures of the bobcat the other night. They're coming right through these trails. Right in here. Move down. Nothing out here in my dirt hole on set number three. Everything around here is just a matter of time. So you got these big open hay fields. <clears throat> this creek, fence rows. Uh, it's just a matter of time. So it's gonna have time to wear in. The animals get uh, curious. <laughs> I'll move down to the next two sets. Nothing right here in this dirt hole either. But these, in the past, where I'm sitting around a caved in spot on the creek, have been producers for me in the past. Everything has to come around it. But uh, just check number two on these sets, so far nothing. I'll move down to the brush pile set. Brush pile set had had a visitor. The bait got snatched out of it, but they didn't manage to set the trap off. I'll go back through here and make sure each one's got bait after I've seen this. I looked down in the hole and the, and the grass wad meat was gone, so <laughs> I'll go back through the sets. But so no no catches over here this morning. Well, I redoped the meat bait in each one of the sets. I didn't have too much in the way of flags. I had a Walmart sack. Smeared some meat on the sack and tied it to the bush right behind where the set is to kind of use it as a curiosity lure slash flag for the cat. Their whole set is right right in here at the base of the flag and that big tom was right here so <laughs> this hopefully works this is the trail everything's coming through and uh, should probably put a blind trail set in there but uh, we'll see if this works i'm just getting down to the beaver sloughs on the uh, timber company's land I don't know how many I've caught yet. The canoes down there I'm on the other side of the portage, but I'm just looking down through here at the metal stakes. And right down here, I see a big brown fur wad floating in the water. I know I got at least one catch over here, but I'm gonna set in to the 330s up on the other side of the portage and see what we got today. Hopefully several, but I know I got I got something right there. That's always a positive First set you come to you look out across through the slough and you can see it floating. So We'll get down to the 330s I have nothing in that 330 set. That was a crossover, but it's gonna get hit There's just too much activity around here to not get hit uh, We'll move up and check the rest of them but uh, for the other one I paddled by just a minute ago didn't have anything in it either, but we will have a catch or two somewhere. There's just too much activity in here. I'll see you down there. I've got nothing in that 330 set, but that place right there just screams otter to me. Got that fast flowing water through that little gap right beside that bush. Next couple days, I'm sure something will get hit there. 
keep moving, we'll get down here and get across the little low water dam over into the big pond. We've got nothing in that dam break. The next one does have something in it, but it kind of looked like a neutral. We'll know when we get down there to it, but uh, nothing on this one today. All these places that I've created the dam breaks on will get used as a crossover or something will have to come fix it. Let's get down to the next one. It is a neutral. He was coming up out of that creek in this crossover right here. Bang, right there, suitcase in the 330. We'll take a look at him when I get him out. I'm getting the set remade in the little crossover. Coming right up through here, brushed off on each side, give him that one hole to hit. And for some reason, one of my trigger wires broke off. I'll have to replace it, but down to the last of the trapping season, I'll get it replaced between now and next season. It's got that one wire on it. Here's our Nutra catch, big Nutra. Uh, I'll keep moving. Hopefully we've got something, a beaver caught somewhere. Hopefully it ain't just full of these things. We'll find out. I'll keep moving down. Nothing on this down break. That should have been fixed. Maybe the beaver didn't move through here last night. Nothing should have. We'll keep moving down. That's, that's a good looking down break right there. No repairs or no catches on this down break either. Should have been like a great crossover going down into that creek. I'll keep moving around, see if we've made any real catches. If not, I'm gonna put in some more sets anyway. This, 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 this has got beaver in it. Depressing so far. Keep moving around. Putting in a caster mound set this morning. I mean, there are several beaver in here. There he is. I have the trap bitted right here. Got it anchored off. We're running down into the deep water, but uh, there's my caster lure all over the mound. They don't like the dam breaks, maybe they'll like the caster mounds. We're running down into deep water, anchor it off. Putting in another caster mound down the edge of the edge of the dam. There's my little mound. Right there is where I've got the trap bedded, right there. On the caster on the mound on the dam <laughs> but uh, I'll run the anchor cable out in the deep water anchor it off now you're starting to see where the TS-85 is bedded right there in front of the mount let's see if we don't do any good or better tomorrow I'm gonna put the caster mounds in more steel as I go there's just too much sign in here for these three and four foot tall dams to not catch beaver I'm keep moving. Putting in a 330 right here, a little dam break I made. Got the canoe sitting in the hole, but I'm sitting on the levee. And got it grassed in. There's a 330 right there through the little cut. I'm putting it here. So I have found an insane, insane amount of otter poop all over the place <laughs> hopefully this will be a good cut through spot for the otter to come i'm gonna put in some otter lure and we'll take a better look at it when i get done there's a good look at the 330 set i have taken some marciata's otter lure and put it around but if i can get up here without falling down mud there he is fish scales and poop everywhere he's all the fish scales in the poop that's the otter and the hair and but fish bones and scales but uh, that's it right there should work 
I'll keep moving. I'm putting in this caster mound. You can see the mound pretty good. I've smeared caster all over the top of it. Got the anchor put in and uh, got a TS 85. Bend it right in front of it off to the left a little bit. But, uh, should work. There's going to be some traveling beaver coming through here. I'm on the low water dam. I'll get the set finished and keep moving. Well, the first two dam breaks I'm getting to have nothing. I do see a brown lump floating right up here. And up there is a TS-85 bedded on the bottom in front of that dam break. And uh, didn't do no good. That should have been fixed. I'll move down. <sighs> this new Tourette number two. Not what I was expecting. But a catch is a catch. <laughs> I'll get him out of the trap, get the set remade over here at this crossover. But uh, let's see which trap this is. We'll find out in a minute. Just a big neutral. <clears throat> Not as big as number one. The TS-85 got a hold of him. He didn't even move the slider. <laughs> he was right there. I'll get the set remade at the crossover and keep moving down. Here's my remake. Everything's coming right up through here. Right there is a TS-85 bedded on the bottom. Just inside that crossover. And that's the one that's going to that canal that goes down to the, the bigger pond. So that one should catch again. But I'll get the uh, cable back out in deep water anchored up. Keep moving down. There's nothing in this damn break set either. But uh, if I wasn't stirring up the silt, you can see what traps on the bottom right there. The hammers number three fully modified right there in that gap right there it should make a catch i'm gonna put out a little otter lure try to get the otter neuter beaver anything coming through here is gonna hit these gaps we'll see i got one more to check and then it, it don't look real promising <laughs> We'll see. Right there's TS-85 in that uh, fast water riffle crossover slash dam break. Anything coming up through here is either going to fix the dam or try to come up these riffles in their travel pattern. So all this is flooded timber and this is what they're trying to control. These beaver are tearing up everything. Flooding the timber. But I don't know where they're at right now. I'm just not seeing any fresh chews. Seeing lots of old down and no fresh chew sticks. But uh, I'll paddle around up in here in the timber in a minute, see if I can find some fresh sign. But none of these down breaks slash crossovers are catching beaver. So I don't know what they're doing or where they're at right now, but hopefully we'll find them in a minute. There are beaver in the area. But it's just acres and acres. This kind of stuff, just flooded scrub brush. I mean, it's a duck hunting paradise, what this is. But uh, finding quite a few beaver fresh chews right here. It's a long way from the highway, and I can hear that Harley wheel over there. But the. Uh, These beaver chews, they're just scattered out through these woods. And, uh, it's going to be fun. Something should happen in the next day or two. I put out a bunch more fresh sets today. Beaver chews on the bottom, fresh beaver chews up here. No solid land to put a caster mound on. It's just while they were sitting there nipping and chewing bushes. Keep, I'm going to keep looking. 